Well, good morning and welcome back to Daybreak. So today you might notice some people walking around with some ash on their forehead. You might be asking yourself why. Well, that's because it's Ash Wednesday. I'm here with Deacon Bob Fishman to explain just a little bit more about the holiday and the significance of why today is so important for those of the Catholic faith. Excellent. Well, Ash Wednesday is actually the first day of Lent. And it's a time of prayer and abstinence and fasting and inner reflection. And it's also um, a great time to transform our lives, to go deeper with a relationship with God. And so people will uh, put ashes on their forehead, and it's usually in the sign of a cross. And the ashes are actually from Palm Sunday. So they take the palm leaves and then they burn them, and that's how they make the ash. And then they'll take their, uh, the priest or the deacon will take the ash on their thumb and make the sign of the cross. And it's a way of marking ourselves for Christ. It actually goes all the way back to our Jewish roots back in the Old Testament mm -hmm. when it says, you know, from dust you are and dust you shall return. And we say those words when we're marking people with the ashes. And we want them to repent and live uh, the gospel life and, and just uh, change their lives. You know, springtime is such a great time for spring cleaning. And we clean out our houses and everything else. It's a good time to clean out our souls too, you know, and to um, have some time of fasting and reflection. And anything worth having, you sacrifice for. So that's why we fast on Ash Wednesday and we fast on Good Friday because we're sacrificing and we're, uh, we're doing things that will help us grow spiritually and um, our relationship with God. Absolutely, so fasting means to sustain from food. Uh, right. What about water? Now, do you, don't, do you do it for the full day or is it from sundown? Or how, how does, when do you sustain from not eating? Well, the, uh, the church says anyone over, between 18 and 59 should uh, fast mm -hmm. if they can. Now, if you're on medication or if you're elderly or, or whatever, you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and fasting means you eat one meal a day or uh, a combination of one meal and two very small meals to get you through. Many people fast on just bread and water, you know, and things like that. But that doesn't mean that you go, you know, down to the bagel company and eat 15 bagels and, right. you know. But it means a sacrifice. You're, you're giving something up and trying to work on yourself and your relationship with God. And always mix it with prayer. Never, it's not a Holy Ghost diet plan, you know. It, what they, fasting is mixed with prayer and it becomes incredibly powerful because it's not easy to do. Absolutely, I just have one quick yes sure. or no question. All right, I'm ready. Do you have to be Catholic in order to participate? No, as a matter of fact, uh, a, anybody can come in and receive ashes and many Protestant denominations and other churches throughout the city also do ashes. But, All right, yep. absolutely. Well, we're out of time. We're All right.